Capitano, buongiorno. Hey. Matteo Renzi. Matteo Renzi. Buongiorno Presidente, benvenuto. Good morning, President. Welcome on board the uh, International Space Station. Buongiorno Presidente, benvenuto a bordo della Stazione Spaziale Internazionale. È un piacere. It's a pleasure to be hearing you and to see you after seeing you on Twitter after these long months waiting for your return, which uh, is getting closer. We are going to uh, wait for you here physically at Palazzo Chigi. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation, and uh, it will certainly a pleasure, but the mission is still long. We still have a month and a half. There's so much work to do. And, and most of all, a lot of research and a lot of scientific activity to complete. So for now, I still haven't uh, packed up yet, and I'm, I'm not ready to come back. We're following you with a great admiration, both for the fact that you are the first woman to do this uh, important work to conduct the uh, scientific mission on board, but also because you have treated us to uh, get us lay people closer to the beauty and the importance of the work that you're doing, not only by explaining everything that you're doing, which is very interesting, from how you run from, to how you cut your hair, to the uh, more serious scientific research, to the uh, geographical questions that you ask over Twitter, which I follow all the time and I never get an answer right. I, I can imagine. I, I also have to say that I've always been terrible in geography. So when, when I ask these questions, it's because I'm the first one to not know the answer. But but truly, I'm I'm very delighted uh, if this mission is a, is an opportunity to transmit uh, a little bit of passion, especially for the youth, for for this that I call a great adventure of humanity, which is space exploration, which clearly has some uh, scientific and technology components that are very important for our country. Our country is a leader in the uh, research and space technology. But I also believe that it's, it's, again, a great adventure for humanity, which is in our future as human beings. I'm completely in agreement. Even though maybe we should be doing more, we're very proud of what the uh, Italian Space Agency does with ESA and with all the partners of this extraordinary adventure. However, when we talk about Italy, we limit ourselves to see the beauty of it, which is not just a little bit. All you have to do is, is, is look at a, at a photo from, from up there that you give us to see how extraordinary this, this country is. But we have this ability of innovation and to invest in innovation. And perhaps we should do more to invent something new that is part of our DNA. And sometimes that's something that we don't value enough. So your mission has great value because it brought many men and women closer to this world. So now we should be capable even when you come back, to continue to invest even with more determination in the projects, both European and international, in this way. President, I, I can't but uh, be in agreement with your words. It's, it's great to be successful in the past and present, but of course, it's important to build the future. So I truly believe that every euro that's invested in the space sector and in space technologies has a return on investment that's very great. From, from what uh, people smarter than me tell me about it, it it's, it's one of the sectors with the highest return of, of investment. So we, we sent people into space, but we 
we don't send money into space, so that stays in our infrastructure. So it creates jobs for our, our young graduates in these sectors of science and technology, which then they need to find jobs in, uh, in our country. So I can't but join you in your words. You can imagine that I'm surrounded here by many people who are looking at me and, and they're all happy for what you're saying and for the uh, commitments that we'll make. But I also think that it's important to be able together to imagine the country for our, the future for our country. I, I'm very taken aback when we lose sight of the beauty, beauty that Italy represents. And yet, every time I speak with uh, other government colleagues from foreign countries and, and managers of great companies that invest in Italy, the first thing that they tell me, it's not the great food or the beauty of the museums, but the fact that we have a human capital, uh, a quality of our studies that many are jealous of. So that's what we need to work on more. Even, even if on, on food, hopefully, you f you miss some some of it. I, I know you're doing a lot of experiments, but uh, hopefully you're missing some Italian food. Tell me the truth. Well, I have to say, I, I can't deny that uh, I, I will be able to come back to Italy to uh, eat some of our uh, gourmet foods. But uh, I have to tell you that uh, we're getting espresso here on board. There's a, a resupply vehicle, Dragon, that's coming in a couple of weeks. And uh, it will bring us this uh, espresso machine technology development, which is uh, also uh, a technology demonstration of, of fluids at high pressure and temperature in weightlessness, but it's also going to bring us some pods to make uh, espresso. And, and also, I was saying on this vehicle, uh, we'll have two new experiments from the Italian Space Agency, very interesting. Uh, they're called uh, Cytospace and NATO. Uh, they're going to bring two cell cultures. The idea is we want to study the effect of some nanoparticles uh, to fight uh, bone loss, which affects astronauts, but also people on Earth suffering from osteoporosis. And another one that uh, studies the effect of microgravity on the structures of the cell. Something so small, like a cell, suffers from the absence of gravity changing changing its structure and influences its its uh, functioning and cascading into its functional uh, biology and affects our health. So two experiments that uh, we still have to conduct. My compliments. I, I see that you're also doing a lot of uh, physical exercising. I, I've seen you run on the treadmill and trying to do gym exercises, to seeing you, it's very interesting. If I'm not mistaken, a few weeks ago you wrote on Twitter that you were a little worried because you'll have to do a lot of stretching to uh, recoup muscle tone. But if you had to explain to someone like me who also didn't pass science, so now everybody's going to tell me that I'm, I'm not particularly proud of, but what is the experiment that you like the most in these four and a half months, more or less? It, it, so since, since you left, what is the experiment that most impressed you that you can explain to something, somebody who has a lot to learn, like me? It's hard to pick one. I, I'm going to name a couple. And, and let's say that at, at least the ones that, that have to do more with the astronaut are the ones where we are the guinea pig, where we're involved and, and the operations are more interesting and complex. One is called Drain Brain, which is coming from Ferrara. And it's interesting because for the first time we are studying the effect of not having weight, weightlessness, uh, of, of blood going towards the heart. On Earth, gravity helps, but on Earth, uh, up here, it's not like that. So they developed a very simple method. It's an elastic band that you put around your neck, uh, which in a way that's not invasive, and it has nothing to do with the operator's ability to interpret. Uh, it gives you the ability to, to measure the uh, blood flow in the vein so that you can quantify this flow, 
and, and understand what the effect of weightlessness. But validating this uh, technology uh, can be very interesting for clinical research on Earth, so very promising. Another one that's interesting, it's, it's called airway monitoring. It's an ESA experiment, and here, too, for the first time, we study the gaseous exchange within our lungs when we breathe. So studying the mechanics of this gas exchange of the lungs in weightlessness in microgravity. So it's the first time that we're uh, studying this phenomenon. But the first experiment that you're talking about is from Ferrara, so it's from uh, Italian Space Agency. So it's made in Italy. And the second one, if I understand, it's from ESA, the European Space Agency. One, one of the things that struck me from what you said uh, before you left and then from up there where you're looking at us. Uh, actually, where are you right now? Are we over South America, Latin America? So right now. I have to confess that, unfortunately, I haven't verified where we are at this time, so I, I can't pass this question. No, uh, that's okay. They, they told me that you're over Latin America, but uh, at the end of this, who knows where you're going to be over the world. But one thing that really struck me of what you wrote, even on your uh, uh, Twitter profile, you wrote European of Italian citizenship. And this is a beautiful thing because the, the way the flags are, are beautiful, the flags behind you, because this is a moment in which Europe has lost a little bit its identity, its sense, its deep sense of, of vocation. So I think it's beautiful that there are projects like the one from ESA that remind us what Europe is and, and that it's not just a group of, of boring rules and, and economics. So from this point of view, we have to be doubly grateful. Can I ask you what is what is the moment? Because to, to a child, you ask, what do you want to do when you grow up? And they respond, astronaut. But what do you ask an astronaut? When you come back, how are you going to help us with Italian projects and European projects? President, I, I am at your disposal. I, I'm a public servant, as the Americans say. So I'm obviously at your disposal for for giving back what was given to me, which was a lot. My, my country gave me so much. So I'm absolutely at your disposal to give back whichever way I can. And, and the agencies that I'm talking about, they, they will know how to best use the experience that I have so that I can give back and, and put it back in circulation so that others may benefit from it. Where, where the, the first thing that we'll need to do is in schools, because I've seen that when you go over Trentino or Milan and, and you say, this is where I went to my final two years of school, I, I've seen some tweets that you've uh, done on the matter. I, I think that we'll need to do a project together on schools, because our youth need to come back to thinking that Italy is not just about a country with a great past, but a place where the future can even be more beautiful than the past. And, and I will really need you when you come back. So go ahead and finish up these experiments because we need you to come back down here to help us in Italy. Mr. President, thank you so much. Of course, I, I definitely agree. Schools and, and the youth are, are important, and, and they're always at the center of my thoughts. Captain, thank you so much from the heart to dedicate some time to you from Palazzo Chigi. We're all rooting for you. We uh, wish you break a leg for these 40 days that are still ahead of you until your return, until your reentry. We will welcome you 
with great trepidation and enthusiasm as we have been following, as we followed your departure with joy. And, and, and let me tell you a little bit of pride. And of course, thank you because the sense of belonging that you're demonstrating in this mission with your links with San Remo, with the president of the Republic, you've spoken with both, is for us an element of pride and joy. The sense of identity of being Italian was demonstrated with gr great pride and that tricolor flag that we saw on your suit when you left. We uh, bring it all with us, a piece in our heart. So I'll let you back to your work and Italian food that I know you're that I know you're eating out, out there. I know it's not a cotoletta or a Florentine steak, but uh, when you come back here at Palazzo Chigi, we will wait for you. First, we will celebrate, and then we'll get to work together. Mr. President, I thank you for your words, and especially because through you, I, I thank all the Italians from the heart, fr from the youngest to the oldest, who demonstrated so much love and, and who have followed the mission. Uh, the mission is not over yet. There's so much to do still. And uh, I will be so happy at my return, as you were saying, shortly to uh, celebrate and then get back to work, as you said. Thank you again. Thank you. How do you say? Bon voyage. See you soon. A presto, Presidente. See you soon, Mr. President.